Hi, my name is Fred Hutchison with PYI, and today we're going to talk about the MaxProp Easy. Basically, we're going to talk about taking it apart, what it means to take it apart, and how to get it back together. At some point during its life, you may have to do that. So, we'll be right back. First thing to do when you're taking it apart is to take the zinc off. So, depending on the size, it'll be either a four, five, or a six millimeter metric Allen wrench. Three screws secure the zinc, and then underneath that, two screws secure the nut. So you'll need to remove the locking set screws for the nut. At that point, the nut will be secured to the shaft, so you'll need to loosen the nut and remove it from the propeller shaft. Once the nut is out, you'll get down to the circlip. Before you start taking the propeller apart, you need to note the rotation of the propeller. This propeller is set up for a right-hand rotation. If you note the R on the zinc bearing ring and the drill mark, those are in alignment, so that would be a right-hand rotation. If the L and the drill mark were aligned, it'd be left-hand. So, when we reassemble it, we'll reassemble it to a right-hand rotation. Next, remove the circlip, which is right in here. Remove the circlip. Then next, remove the zinc bearing ring. Remove the upper half of the spinner. And then the blades. One at a time, everything is marked and numbered one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. And you just need to make sure you put them back the exact same way. Next, remove the spacer and the lower half of the spinner. And now we're down to the bare bones of the propeller. This is what's fit to the shaft. When you're assembling it, you've got some marks to align. So the first mark is on the central hub this drill mark here will align with the drill mark on the spinner half. So slide the lower spinner half onto the hub, aligning the two parts. Once you align the spinner half and the dot on the central hub, next is to insert the central cone gear. There's a drill mark inside the central hub and a drill mark on the central cone gear. Set the cone gear in place to where those two marks align just like that. Next step is to drop the spacer in place. The spacer has a number on it, the spinner half has a number on it, and so do the blades. So basically we're lining one with one and two with two. Blade number one on the spinner half with blade number one side on the spacer, dropping it in place. Next, the blades go on, rounded edge aft, dropping them in place, number one, Number two, number three, and number four. Once all four blades are in place, the next step is to set on the aft spinner half. Again, making sure blade number one goes with blade number one. Once that's in place, the next step is to reset the zinc bearing ring. Again, we've got to find the drill mark here and we're gonna set this up for a right hand rotation. So we're gonna drop that in alignment. So where your R and your drill mark are back in alignment. Then reset this, this circlip in place and you're good to go. Tighten the nut, put the zinc back on and you're ready to go. Thanks again for watching. My name is Fred Hutchison. If you have any questions or comments, please click on the content comment box below, enter your comments or email us at info at pyiinc.com.